Talmor, Jeshin Mugachi. Talmor is my home. My family have worked the land for generations. My gran says the island does not belong to us, but we belong to the island. And we must be ready for a great evil is coming. And death follows with it. Listen and subscribe to the latest season of Undertow, The Harrowing, a story glass production presented by Realm, available wherever you get your podcasts. Contained herein are the heresies of Radolf Burntwine, erstwhile monk turned traveling medical investigator. Join me as I uncover the blasphemous truth of a plague-ridden world, that ours is not a loving God, and we are not its favored children. The Heresies of Radolf Buntwine, coming January 2nd, wherever podcasts are available. And now, listen to this on the Toddcast Podcast. Singer John Karabi has had an incredible career that still to this day rolls along. Back in the day, you heard him in The Scream, Union, The Eric Singer Project. He was a guitarist in Rat for a hot minute. He was in Motley Crue, of course, for arguably their best album, their self-titled album. He was in Brides of Destruction with Nikki Six. He was in Cardboard Vampires with Allison Chains' Jerry Cantrell. Present day, he's the singer for the supergroup The Dead Daisies. And when John was a guest, he talked about rock documentaries, his first concert seeing BTO and Bob Seger together. He talked about how he joined Motley crew and was stabbed within a week of joining the band he talked about legalized marijuana the music that he grew up around we talked about thor iron man and superpowers he shared his thoughts on axel rose singing for acdc we talked about the shows that he was binge watching like narcos and vikings and john shared a near-death story where he had a gun in his mouth listen to this i actually had a guy (laughs) it's funny my ex-wife still won't forgive me for this one Mm. But um, this was just prior to me being in, I was in L.A. I think I just got in Motley, or it was just prior to me being in Motley. And a guy tried to hold me up, like tried to rob me at a club, behind the club. um, A a club in, in North Hollywood called the FM Station. Like a gun holding you up? Well, at first he was just, I, you know, he's like, give me your wallet. And I'm like, what? I go, you know, and I'm like, who the fuck are you? Mm-hmm. You know, we're just going back and forth. And I, he was getting mouthy with me and I was getting mouthy back. And my wife was standing there and he said he was security for the club. I basically said, go check with the club and make sure this dip shit works for the club, whatever. And she walked away, and as she started walking away, he goes, I didn't tell you you could move, bitch. Oh. And I fucking lost it. And I go, listen, is she a bitch? Yes, but she's my bitch. You don't get to call her bitch. That's my bitch. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, and he pulled a gun, and he stuck, it in, he stuck it in my face. Wow. And at that point, like, everything went, oh, and just slowed down. I know it's incredible with like, those situations. Like, it literally, time just, like, tick. Dude, it seemed like an hour and a half. Yeah. But I did the dumbest thing. I don't know if it was dumb or if it was genius, but I literally, he had it like right at my face. And my, my, like now I laugh about it, but I literally opened my mouth and I stuck my mouth on the end of the gun. (laughs) And he just looked at me like puzzled. And I took the gun out of my mouth and I said, see that dude that bitch that's my wife you'd be doing me a fucking favor pull the trigger and i put my mouth back on the gun again and he just started laughing and walked away listen to this on the toddcast podcast is brought to you by tedco rv supplies in langley an icbc approved repair shop visit them on facebook and twitter at tedco rv supplies hi i'm alexis ohanian You may know me as one of the co-founders of Reddit, but more recently, a large part of my identity is being a father to my two wonderful daughters. In my podcast, Business Dad, I'm hoping to open up the conversation about balancing careers and family. 
The one thing I constantly hear successful people say, without fail, is that they wish they'd spent more time with their kids. That's time no one can get back. So I decided to create Business Dad, to engage in the conversation about how we're spending our time now, providing a forum for successful dads to share their joys and challenges of being a working parent. You'll get to hear from a wide range of business dads, from Rain Wilson and Guy Raz to Todd Carmichael and Shane Battier. And while this podcast will talk about business and will definitely be featuring dads, I think everyone can learn something from these incredible conversations as we unpack the expectations we all have about careers, relationships, and ourselves. Business Dad is available now, so be sure to listen and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts.